So my name is Karen Fan, and my top five schools that I got accepted by are、um, RISD, so Rhode Island School of Design, and Carnegie Mellon University, New York School of Art Institute of Chicago, UCI, and the majors are mostly art, or like、uh, more specific, like fine arts or illustration. I think I got 140,000 from Psych, and 80,000 from SVA. I forgot how much from Mika, but I think it's around the same. When I first went into high school, I wasn't planning on going to an art school, but as time goes by, I, I realized that art is something that I want to like. It's the thing that I want to. Pursue the most that I want to like be good at the most, so I just decide, or just why not just go to an art school and just keep on strengthening myself in the field of arts. The two schools that I was like the most surprised and happy when I got accepted was RISD and CMU. I decided to go to RISD, so I checked it both of them with my sister. So I checked RISD as like. At like six a.m. when I woke up, yeah, my sister was like so excited. And for CMU, I think it's at at night. We can't really believe that I got in. It was very exciting. I look forward to it, but at the same time, I I also don't really want to leave like the place that I'm familiar familiar with. I'm kind of like unsure of what will come after I. Go to RISD, I like dorm life and stuff, because I'm not really used to living with others. So that's like the the biggest concern that I have with RISD. <laughs> I know a lot of people only want to go to RISD because like、um, prestigious and it's like famous, and it like supposed to be the hardest school to get in. But I think the most important thing for for a college is that. It suits you. So, even if like RISD is famous and like、uh, um, overall strong, I don't think it's like the best choice for some for some people. So I'm just like, don't go to school just because it's famous. First work I created Icon is a self portrait.、Um, so when I first、uh, went to Icon, Yandri told me to like pick. A topic from like the list of things that they want you to include in your portfolio, and I pick self-portrait. And I think、um, even as like the first artwork I created, Icon is one of my favorite. I feel like it's a very different attempt that I took that was like diff very different from my old style.、And、I think it's like a very、um, bold move for me at that time to like experiment. With the colors and the composition and subject and stuff. Also,、uh, my most recent work I did at Icon is my RISD assignment. So that work is like、uh, the most special work in my portfolio. I consider because it's a video and it's like I really like the concept behind it. So I came up with it. When I was taking, when I was like attending my AP Art History class, so my teacher talked about how art being taken out from its original context, and they suddenly just like, for example, if a mural was like located in a church and then it got took, taken out and then put into like a museum, people don't know what it's about when they're being taken out of context, and I feel like that is very interesting. So I, so I、um, used this concept as like. When art are being taken off context, and when it's like out of time, and when it's like not, when it's being put into like a museum or a textbook, it lost its its all of its meaning, and it just becomes like history, part of history, and not a an artwork anymore because it is not a response to its contemporary like its contemporary society anymore. It's like a、uh, it become an artifact that we look. To when we want to know about like the past, so I think that's pretty interesting. I also did some experiment when I was creating that project because Tame and I used like the 
I think it's dram Dramel engraved into the, like wood panels. And I think it was a very fun experiment. Starting with the, the jungle one. So the left half of it is called the ukiyo jungle. Um, the ukiyo is a Japanese word that I think is very interesting. It is it represents um, the the wood panel block uh, printing that the Edo Japanese um, were doing. Its subjects are ma are mainly like about things that happen around the world or like daily lives, and its meaning is like transient world, um, like fast paced living. Yeah, so the so the left half of it is about things that are happening in our society. That corresponds to like the past. And the, the right half of that painting um, is called the Garden of Apples. And that painting is about the concept of love and it's uh, three stages that are uh, love, sing, and punishment. And I, um, and I think it's corresponding with like the stages of, of an apple, like green apple, red apple, and like, one apple. So that's the concept of that painting. The other one um, is the black and white ink and pencil one. That is also a painting that's like combined by two separate pieces. I really like that because I like the blood part. I think it's very dramatic and it gives like a strong impact when people look at it at first. It is um, a part of a series that I did about um, isolation. So the two characters in that painting, one of them is the dog person, and the other one um, is the caged. So it's about how some people were like under the control of others. All of my co my characters in that series were are isolated. So the dog person's isolation is that it's being it's under control of some somebody else. It's forced to isolate from the others. It doesn't have he doesn't have the his free will, he doesn't, he cannot do like what he wants to do. Um, the cage girl, she is not under control of anyone. She is isolated just because she is like caging herself. Her cage is like internal, not external. She knows she can like escape from that internal prison, but she chose not to. And from what I observe in my like daily lives from others, like these people who they isolate themselves from the others, they feel like they don't have the right to like express their pain or their sorrows just because they're sad, not because anything but themselves. So they don't feel like they, they feel like they don't have the right to like complain about things. But people who are under control of other people can like complain about them uh, or the things they experience like very easily because the it's not their fault. The other piece I did was an oil painting about the Cultural Revolution back in China in the 60s. So I was inspired by a, a, a Chinese rock band and a lot of their con uh, concept in their songs are about communism and people under the, on the control of the, the, the communism. I also asked my parents about what the things that happened during that time. So I was very intrigued by it. So I decided to create a piece about like censorship and kind of and how like history might not be the thing that might not be exactly the same as what you think of it is. Um, I didn't decide like one concept, one overall concept because I don't want to, I don't want to like give myself a box. From what I like concluded after I finished all those pieces, I feel like they all came from the observa my observations that I made when I'm, a, when I'm around with people, like just from daily life. So I feel like maybe my overall portfolio concept could be an observation of our society. I think I have like a relatively kind of strong um, foundation in art and drawing. So I think that might be one point. And the other point is that I tried to, but I did my best to like,
go deep in all of my paintings because I don't want my paintings just to be like a painting, just to be a beautiful painting, but have some like um, universal concept or value that's like buried in it. So I think that might be it. And also I think um, some, some people do think that like descriptions are not important, but I think they are important because they have to like the college um, admission officers, they have to like understand what you're talking about in your pieces. And also when I went to the uh, National Portfolio Day and I met um, a professor from, I think it's Boston University. And I let, I let him read my um, descriptions. He said he really liked them because it's like different. And it's like not explaining everything that you did, but like, it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a movie trailer. So don't tell, tell them everything about your paintings. Just say, give them like kind of an idea and lead their thinking towards like your um, mind, the, the way you're thinking. So I think that's pretty important. I think the, the hardest part about making my portfolio is to like, for for, uh, for example, one time management, because I'm really bad at it. I tend to like procrastinate a lot, and I kind of like cram my time um, around like the end of the application. <laughs> so don't 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 procrastinate. And also, the hardest part is to get out of your comfort zone, because you tend to um, think in the same way as like in, in the, the way that you used to. But like, I think the, the hardest part is definitely to like, try to do something different and try to like step out of your comfort zone and try to like experiment things. I think my unweighted GPA was like 3.97. Weighted GPA was like 4. Point, between 4.1 and 4.2, I don't remember exactly. Um, my SAT is like around 14.50. Uh, yes, um, most of my favorite works were created during that time, like summer to like, the start of the school. I think that was like the time that I was the most focused in preparing for my college. The biggest um, factor that lead me into making this kind of portfolio are the teachers and icon. I like to talk to them and like have conversations about concepts and like artworks and what I want to do and where I am trying to go um, and they really they're like very willing to help me and to like have long long conversations about like a certain con like a certain small details a small concept I think these kind of conversations are very very um, beneficial for me to like get deep into concept or like learn different perspective of um, looking at things and also to like get inspired by by this conversation. Don't afraid to talk to the teachers or like the students. I was pretty afraid at first. Yeah, but don't be don't be like don't be like me. <laughs>